Aruna purchased a certain number of apples for rupees 20 each and number of mangoes for rupees 125 each. Um, apples, mangoes, price per unit, rupees 20, rupees 25. She sells all the apples at 10% profit, all the mangoes at a 20% loss. Overall, she makes neither profit nor loss. Uh, all the apples are at 10% profit, 10% profit, profit, rupees 2 per unit. Mangoes are at 20% loss, loss, 20% of this is minus 5 per unit. And she makes no profit, no loss. Uh, that means this profit from all the apples offsets the loss from all the mangoes. Everything she makes 2 rupees profit. Here she makes 5 rupees loss. 2 into whatever this is will be equal to 5 into whatever the unit this is. R, the number of units in the ratio 5 is to 2. Per unit number is 2 and minus 5. Whatever she makes here is offset here. R, she sells phi n number of apples and 2n number of mangoes. Profits will be phi n into 2, 10n. Losses will be 2n into minus 5, minus 10n. Goes off, comes to 0. Now what does she do? So she sells phi n and 2n. Now instead if she sells all the apples at a 20% loss. New scenario, loss per apple is minus 4. The mangoes at a 10% profit. 25 into 10. 10% 10, 10 of this is 2.5. Overall, she makes a loss of 150 rupees. So minus 4 into 5n plus 2.5 into 2n equals rupees 150. But a loss. I'm putting plus profit as positive, loss as negative. Minus 4. Ah, atrocious. Minus 4 into 5n. I'm sorry about this. Minus 20n plus 5n, which is minus 15n is minus 150 or n is 10 or she buys 50 apples and 20 mangoes. Nice. What is the question we have? Then the number of apples purchased by Aruna is 50, 50 apples and 20 mangoes. The key part here is to look at the first statement and go the losses, the number of apples in the ratio, apples to mangoes in the ratio 5 is to 2. When we do that, we are through. I n and 2 n, then plug it into this find it.